Morning Bell is the second to last track on Kid A and provides a great sound with actual instruments, which according to Tom was somewhat hard to pull off as they had to beg Johnny to play guitar on the track after he'd become so attached to using the Ande Martineau. Of course there's still synthy bits all around, but it's a rather straightforward track. If you want the weirder version, check out the rework on Amnesiac. Morning Bell slash Amnesiac isn't my preferred version of the song, but it's definitely worth the listen if you haven't heard it before. And it's actually just an alternate version of the song that they had lost during the original sessions for Kid A and Amnesiac. The song features some interesting lyrics, which some people interpret it as being about divorce or a breakup. But when talking about Morning Bell in an interview, Tom goes on to say that the song isn't about divorce or a breakup, but rather about a ghost. Tom York bought a house after OK Computer's touring and felt as if there was a ghost in the house. He said it was just something he knew, didn't say or talk about, but he could feel it. While living in this house, he filled up a whole mini disc of songs, ramblings, and whatever else he decided to put on there. But there was a power outage that erased the disc. On that disc was the original version of Morning Bell, lyrics and all. When the disc was wiped, he was bummed out, but didn't think too much of it, as according to him, that was the general vibe of the house at the time. He had forgot all about Morning Bell, and then about six months later, when on an airplane back from Japan, being sleep deprived, the song just came back to him, exactly as he had originally written it. It wasn't about a breakup, but rather about the house he was in, and how he felt living in it. When you interpret the song with the idea of a ghost, the lyrics make a lot of sense. Tom singing out, release me, speaking for the ghost, is they want to be released from this house, this afterlife, the state that they are in. They want out. The lines talking about where's the car, why's the furniture on the lawn, all these things could be hinting towards the idea that the house that this ghost is living in has changed since their death. Maybe they lived here before, but now with new owners moving in, things are changing, things are different. A bump on the head could be how they possibly died. The other popular theory that I briefly mentioned before is the idea of a divorce or a breakup, which all these lines also work for. While Tom did explain what he meant by writing the song, that doesn't mean this interpretation is incorrect. The idea that art is subjective is talked about a lot, but often overlooked. Just because it's not what Tom meant doesn't mean that the ideas that you may have are invalid about the song. Even what I'm explaining in these videos about the lyrics and the analysis of all the songs on Kid A aren't 100%. You can perceive the lyrics any way you want. You can feel however you want about this track. Happy, sad, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we're all just people looking for our own release of everyday life.